Okay, welcome back to the Dice Coach's Crap Spit. Okay, on this little segment, we're going to talk about comps. All right, we've already discussed about buying in and so forth. Uh, if you want to get comp, I don't, I don't play for comps per se, and I don't recommend playing for comps, but I do recommend when you're playing, why not use a player's card and get all the comps that they'll give you? Um, it adds to your bottom line. you got to eat, drink, and what have you, so you might as well have them pay for it if it's going to be done instead of paying out of your bankroll. So what you need to do is get all your cards. Pablo's got a question. I was just going to say, if you're going to play, they can pay. If you're going to play, they can pay. There you go. That's a good one. I've got this little, like a purse light container with a zipper on it, and I've got all of my players' cards in this little compartment. Now, you're not going to want to take all of these cards with you into the casino. So what I recommend is have a separate little pouch. This one here, I've got uh, a little pouch to carry your business cards or a couple credit cards, your driver's license or what have you, separate from your wallet, and put your, the cards you're going to think you're going to be using for the day into this little compartment, and you'll have maybe a half a dozen cards in there for the casinos that are going to be close to where you're playing. So this way, when you get into the casino and you're buying in, so what would happen here is this. You would not have this purse with you. That's going to be left in the car. You will have this one with you. And what you're going to do is, let's say, that you're going to go to an MGM Grand property. Well, you're not even going to take all these out like this. What you're going to do, is before you get to the table, you're going to pick out your MGM Grand card. And this will be remain in your pocket. And also when you buy in, like I carry my money in a money clip. So if I'm going to buy in for 500, I don't want to trash around in my money clip pulling out 500. I'm going to pull the 500 out prior to coming to the table. So when I buy in, I put my 500, if that's what I'm going to buy in for, along with my player's card. And it's simple, it doesn't take a lot of time, and you're not futzing around, okay? Now, let's say you're in a casino that you do not have a player's card for. Most casinos will allow you to put your current driver's license with your money, and in about 20 minutes, depending on how busy they are, will get you a player's card so you don't have to go stand at the player's booth. Now, in doing this, make sure that, because people move around, like the address on the front of my driver's license is different. My current address is on the back. So make sure you flip it over and tell them to use the current address, not your old address. So this is buying in with either a driver's license or your player's card applicable to that particular place and have it all prepared before you get there and uh, save time. So this way, uh, for instance, you know, living in Las Vegas, I really don't want comps for rooms because I found out my wife and I have stayed in the hotels after living here and it's not the same as when you guys travel over here. So, but we do like their food here. Probably a little too much, but anyway, we do like the food and we'll take as many comps and show tickets too and uh, adds to the bottom line. We're going to go see shows instead of paying for it. We'll get them for free. Eating, we get for free, and so forth. It adds to the bottom line and adds a little more to your game. So you're winning a little, and you get some free comps, and it's all cool. So try that. If you have any problems or questions with the comps, so you can send me an email to our website, and uh, be happy to answer any questions. Okay, well, enjoy it. Enjoy your comps, and we'll see you in the next video.